You need to make better video this year. You need to make more video this year. And that's exactly why me and my good friend Nick Nimmin are going to review for you the top 10 apps, software, and pieces of equipment that you need to get. Not all the stuff that you want to get and that looks cool and you're going to have a lot of fun playing with, but the stuff that you actually need to get the job done. Pull up a chair, folks. It's the Business of Video Podcast. No, way! no, wait. It's Owen Video Live. <laughs> I'm Owen Video, and I help amazing companies create videos that create customers with video sales funnels. And if you want to grow your business with video, subscribe to my channel right now. Let's get started with today's video. Hey, welcome everybody back to Owen Video Live. I had said the Business of Video podcast because, Nick, whenever you're here, it feels like the business of video podcast. Plus, we use all the same branding. So, yeah, that'll do it every time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there's no, there's no if ands or buts about it, folks. But if you're watching us live, we're doing Owen Video Live, and you know why? Because the business of video podcast is on a little bit of a hiatus as we're redesigning some stuff. As we do, we go through seasons, we take uh, small breaks, and we add stuff. And Nick, uh, uh, we're working on some pretty exciting stuff for next season, aren't we? Absolutely pumped to get everything kind of reskinned. Re, re uh, I think I can just go ahead and say it pimped out, you know, trying to make everything cooler. I, I think, I think that that's definitely the word. And you know, we're going to need, we need some swanky, like, like, bow, bow, bow music. I think we should start saying the, the pimped out more often, I think is pretty. I, agree. I think it, it's a good thing. It's a, it's a good thing for the show. We've got some new tools that we're using. We're using X keys. Uh, we've got, like you said, some new uh, designs coming out. We're really, we're really taking a big step up because at Owen Video, at the company back here, I mean, we're working on just full-on market domination. We want to be everywhere that business owners and entrepreneurs exist. So we're working on some fun stuff, including a our first ever giveaway contest ladies and gentlemen you can enter to win a logitech c922 hd webcam with it's like 160 degree uh line of sight it's got background removal technology so if you want to do green screen or blue screen type stuff also really great for capturing photos uh that you can use for your thumbnails and you can enter to win a webcam free we're giving it away just go to win with owen.com and it doesn't matter where you are in the world you can enter the contest just go to win with owen.com i am excited actually i'm very excited to give that webcam away and we're going to start doing this more often so i'd love to know i'd love to see i, I can't wait to see what else we're going to give away right in the course of of doing this kathy fitz saying she already signed up we're live, Boom. folks. Owen Video, Nick Nim, and we're going to be talking about the top 10 softwares, apps, and tools that you need to really make great video and to make a lot of video in 2019. 80% of the, I think it's actually 86% of all web content is expected to be video in video format. And so to not show up in video is really to kiss your woohoo, uh, kiss it all, kiss it all goodbye. You know what I mean, Nick? Both of your woohoos, absolutely. Both of your woohoos, kiss them both goodbye. If you're not, if you're not making online videos, and hey, I, I want to say something about the C Logitech uh, or the Logitech C922. That's actually this camera, also. Oh. So like uh, this, yeah. So this is like the quality that you get out of the Logitech C922. Solid camera. Um, so I just wanted to say, uh, I just wanted to say that as well. But yeah, if you're not, if you're not moving into the video space, or if you're not trying to do everything that you can in the video space, you're missing out. You're missing opportunities. You're missing chances to grow your business, chances to grow your influence, yeah. and really all the other stuff that you want. Yeah, you know, you're you're. That's a great. That's a great. That's a building right there, Melissa. Nailed it with the building. You know, whether you're a creator or a business owner, because I really focus on the business owner. If you have a local store, retail shop, maybe you're providing a service. You're a coach. You know, that's really where I have been successful with video is creating video that gets scenes and turns into customers. Now, Nick, you work more on the creative side and helping folks grow a channel, grow an 
audience around video. And so we thought we'd come together today to share with you our favorite tools for accomplishing both of those goals. So whether you're a business owner and you just want to make video, I say just, but it's the very noble goal of making video to get awareness and convert sales from new customers. It's going to be a great episode for you. Uh, and conversely, if you're looking to grow a channel, if you're a video creator, I think you're going to have like a lot uh, of what Nick is going to say. And we're going to jump into that as soon as we welcome folks uh, from our channel. Hey, Nick, do you want to welcome people from Facebook and I'll welcome people from YouTube? Um, I was actually going to do opposite. I had my YouTube open, but I will head over to Facebook right now. Absolutely. Patricia Sommer in the house. What is going on? Nice yeah. to see you here. Patricia, uh, great uh, to David, see you. Um, Mara Diaga, nice to see you as well. Rigor, nice to see you also. Um, we've got a nice, uh, we got a nice crew showing up over there on Facebook. Love I'm it. I'm going to pop this open, Owen, while you are giving a what's up to the people over on YouTube. Our good friend Dan Norton. <laughs> Dan Norton is logging in. Winged Beauty is out there. Victor H. Life. Victor saying, "What's up on the behind the scenes cam?" Victor, glad you're here. Along with Jen Adventures TV. Jen has been producing some great stuff. <laughs> yesterday I saw her like Jen is awesome. I know. I yesterday I saw her uh, do a like a, a whole bit with a, a, a toy from the '90s. It was hilarious. Kathy Fit, Lily Tree, Rush Silers, and of course. Mark Armstrong, Simple Lee Beth, Air 5, glad to see you guys here. Hey, if you want to subscribe to the show on YouTube, click the big old red subscribe button. If you're watching us on Facebook, uh, you can type five into the comment section. That's right. Give me five into the comment section right now. That will subscribe you to the show. Okay, let's get started. Nick, the number, well, I guess in no particular order, maybe. Uh, you know, I don't know. I might bounce around a little bit, but what's the first tool that you you say uh, tell us why you need it what it is and why you need it the very first tool that i always recommend to people when they are trying to make any progress in their life whatsoever trying to uh, get to the bottom of issues or they're just trying to find more clarity and calmness and just insight in their life mm -hmm. is uh, a meditation cushion which it's not a piece of software it's not a piece of hardware that is going to do anything for your specific video content but if your mind is in the right place yeah that's the idea is getting your mind into the right place because everything else flows from there so you can have the best tools in the world but if your mind is not in the right place then those tools aren't going to help you because you're 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 going to be doing things and you're going to be stressed out and you're not going to be feeling it you're not going to enjoy it so because of that <clears throat> meditation cushion is numero uno on my personal list of things that every video creator every business person especially but every person just in life Life in general um, should pick up. Yeah. So tell and, me and, and about with, that. And with saying that, also, I, I also want to mention that you know, with a medica meditation cushion, I don't mean being like you know, like woo woo, and that you're like aligning chakras and all that stuff. Like whatever your belief system is, you know, it doesn't matter. Like what I'm talking about is just the mindfulness side of things in terms yeah. of the things that are proven by science to to help your brain work better um, and all of that. So because of that. That is why I would recommend the uh, meditation. Uh, I huge, make that huge disclaimer so nobody feels that I'm trying to push any yeah. beliefs, you know, on them in any way. Yeah, and you're and Nick is not that guy. Uh, I can I can vouch for that. Right. But Nick is a guy full of great insights in personal development, and that's why when I reviewed your list, I actually asked you to cover the meditation cushion first yeah. because uh yeah. I, you know i do i have a morning routine i'm sold solid on it in fact melissa's now started a morning routine and i believe nick you meditation for you is is a, is a daily ritual is that correct walk us through that yeah. it's critical basically like um part of my day is i will i'll wake up and then i'll get ready and then once i get ready sometimes i'll do it before i get ready it just depends on how i feel when i first wake up up because sometimes sure. you wake up and you're just kind of not there yet yeah. so sometimes i'll get ready first and then i'll sit down on the cushion before i go out and i grab coffee or, or whatever and for me personally like what that does is that just gives me that moment of time that block of you know 20 minutes um every day to where i can sit down and one of the one of the rituals that i go through is i is i sit down and in, internally i'm always thinking you know hey i gotta i gotta like hurry up and do this i gotta hurry up and do this and, yeah, I, and yeah, i've always got that thing sure. going on so I intentionally sit down, and, and one of the first things that I think before I start focusing on my breathing is right now for the next 20 minutes until I hear that alarm, there is no time. Like I'm just going to focus on like, you know, right now the only thing I'm going to focus on is breathing, and I'm going to sit here until that's done so yeah. that I can calm my mind down and, and stop me from being on that wheel of like, oh, God, I got to go do something. I got I to go do something. Um, so for me, just that moment of, of, of just being there. Yeah. Um, with myself, my own brain, my own thoughts or lack of thoughts 
um, is, is a great way to start the day. I love it. I, I believe in it. I have a similar routine, and I'm going to continue the tradition today with item number two. That's coming up in just a second, folks. But item number one, meditation cushion. Uh, get your mind right and develop a routine. Number two, the second thing I'm gonna mention is an Audible account. And I know everyone's thinking the 10 best video apps. And here we are, us numbskulls, we start at personal development. Because look, yep. you are in a game of constant rejection, right? There is no doubt about that. You are in this game of putting up video and letting people respond to it. And if they don't, how are you going to handle that? Secondary is, is how to make your videos better. What are you going to say? Pick up a sales book. Pick up a, a book on public speaking. Right now, I'm listening to the 10X Rule by Grant Cardone, and it is absolutely changing my life. There's been a few books in my life that have absolutely changed my life. The first one was Rich Dad, Poor Dad. Have you read or heard of uh, Rich Dad, Poor Dad? Absolutely. I read that probably, let's see, I've been in Thailand for 12 years, and that I read that back when I was in the States, so it's probably been 13 years ago Yeah, read Yeah, that that's probably Great about book. the same for me. You know, I was right around... Early 20s, yeah. I think, is when I read uh, I read that book for the first time, and it changed my thinking from, you know, working class to sort of like business class, right? Like how, how the masses look at money and how rich people look at money, and that changed me the first time. Grant Cardone, 10X Rule, now this book is sort of like that next level, taking you from how a business owner thinks to how a, a multi-million dollar business owner thinks. Uh, and I really am enjoying that process of discovery and taking my mindset up a notch. So I want to invite everyone to go get an Audible account. Now, I'm posting links. Some of these will be affiliate links. Some of them won't. I, I really, it was more important to me to just get links out to you uh, so that you guys could go check this stuff out. And of course, we'll put all the stuff in the comments. Go get an Audible account. I think you get a free credit when you sign up. Grab a book and grab something like the 10X Rule, Rich Dad, Poor Dad, 12 ir the 21 Irrefutable Laws of Leadership. Uh, and get yourself in a place where you're mentally developing. Maybe every day you're, you're meditating and then listening to 15 minutes or a chapter of a book that's going to help you develop yourself and your soul uh, better. You're a stronger person, a stronger and, business owner. So I love it. I love it. And with that said, also, since we're talking about book recommendations, since we did mention the meditation cushion earlier, I know that a lot of people, they think, hey, I would like to try meditation, but I don't know where to start. What is oh, it that I good. actually do when I meditate yeah. and things like that? Um, there's the book that got me meditating all the time. And um, that book is called Search Inside Yourself. Mm -hmm. And um, it's actually written by uh, one of the people at Google, basically the person, I can't remember the name of uh, their name off the top of my head, but it's basically the person that like greets, like if a president comes or like a high level person comes to Google, yeah. they're the person that actually greets them at the door, shows them around and all that stuff. But That's awesome. that person actually did, they started like meditation training and things like that inside of Google as well. Um, just because because they, you know, saw the the benefits of it, and yeah. and he really breaks down and makes the process simple. Because a lot of people think it's this, this oh well, I sit down and, and I'm if, if I if, if my mind doesn't just go blank that I'm doing it wrong and things like that. Right. But they actually work you through that process of, of what to expect and, and and all that, so you so you don't get overwhelmed by the process. Even though it seems simple, it can be difficult because you're in there fighting your own mind, so to speak, at times. Yeah. Uh, so, so a book like that is definitely something good to yeah, arm yourself with. The, the discipline of meditation and the discipline of personal development is huge. And I think both of these tools will help. And I'll go, I'll actually give you a little bonus. How many of you guys have an Alexa out there? Uh, Dr. Stan is saying, uh, developing the leader within you is a good book. Yeah. Uh, Carlos Zepeda is saying love audible. I just got millionaire success habits. That is an audible, my friend. That's the kind of stuff, right? I audible sort of replaced the podcast for me. Although I do listen to podcasts, you know, you like go into seasons, you know, for a while you're getting like Starbucks coffee roast, and then you go to a season of you're getting double espressos for a while. You know, I do the same thing. It's like I go to podcasts for a while, and then I go to uh, the, the audible books for a while. But here's, it's like a combination of the two. So here's like a, a mega hack for, for me, what I have going on at my house. I have two Alexas in the house. And what we do, at, we set up a whole house system so that it, both the speakers play. And about 6 o'clock at night, this is like typically after dinner or right around that time, uh, like this meditation, like beachy music sort of comes on. 
you know, it's like whales making love, you know, and it's, you know, and it's, I'm half Real kidding. Slow. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Exa I'm, and I'm half yeah. kidding. It's really beautiful, Real just like whale. back. And let me yeah. tell you what this does for the mind to help the mind sort of relax and calm down, you know, and, and bring your day down. Rigor is saying, I half. Unless you're a weirdo, if you're a weirdo, then the whale love might work in the opposite direction it might send in you into some dark cases, places yeah it might send right. you to some but dark in most places cases, it's definitely something that will calm you down and you know kind of relax you and all of that you can actually you can also just say hey alexa play classical or not classical sorry alexa play spa music yeah and, oh, that's uh, cool. and, and all right she'll put on some pretty cool stuff there too that's big alexa put on spa music because i've done alexa put on classical and it's really great the first two three times but it alexa tends to play the same playlist over and over from the same starting point you know i think you have to say shuffle a playlist on classical music and i think you might get more i'm learning how to dial in my alexa how many of you guys are like dialing in your alexa right now you know, or your Google Home, like really figuring it out how it works. You know, I, I definitely am like learning how Alexa Alexa works. I wouldn't say that I'm dialing it in, but um, but I've got like a handful of commands that are my favorite. Like I'll ask what my subscriber count is through TubeBuddy. Yeah. Um, I'll have her I'll have her change the lights and turn the lights on off and all that stuff. Oh. Um, but that's that's kind of where my where my my limits are. Uh, Rigor is saying Star Trek Four Save the Whales. That was hilarious, man. That was the first Star Trek I ever saw when I was a kid. And so Star Trek for me was always sort of like a hippie animal rights movement thing. You know, for years. Nice. For years until, uh, what was it? Jean-Luc Picard came on the air. My family, we were into that. We watched that. In fact, I'd say that's what made me. I wouldn't call myself Star Trek geek. Uh, I am a Star Trek fan, and I do have a book on the art of Star Trek. Fascinating coffee table book, but I, I digress. Okay, Nick, number three. We're 22 minutes in. We got the three tools. Uh, what's the third tool <laughs> on your list? Must have tool, app, or software for video marketing in 2019. If you're on YouTube, TubeBuddy. Let's go ahead and get TubeBuddy out there. If you're on YouTube and you're not using TubeBuddy, you're missing out. And the reason for that is because in addition to helping you, you know, find the right tags, helping you uh, uh, do your keyword research and all of that, in my opinion, one of the most valuable things within TubeBuddy, it's in their top tier package, is the ability to compare thumbnails. And basically what that is, is you load in one thumbnail mm -hmm. against your original thumbnail um, that's already on the platform. And then basically TubeBuddy is going to swap these back and forth. And then they're going to tell you which thumbnail performs better. Yeah. And in some cases, you're going to be blown away at how much better one thumbnail performs than the other. And you're also going to be blown away on the information that you start getting back in terms of, wow, I thought for sure people were going to love this thumbnail where they actually love something completely different than what you originally thought. Yeah. So having that actual data to work with in terms of which thumbnails are, are getting clicked on the most in the different locations on YouTube is extremely valuable for anybody doing anything on YouTube. So I highly, highly recommend um, uh, the, the TubeBuddy tool and to buddy for ab testing your thumbnails. yeah and i'd love to hear from you guys uh listening today on facebook and watching us on youtube are you already a TubeBuddy buddy right. user nick and i we both stream for the company uh we are like i would i would say shamelessly in bed with phil uh and the, yeah. <laughs> and the company over there like yeah. we are so i i for one am sold out on TubeBuddy, buddy not just because of the software that they provide and the tools that are there but because of who the company is awesome. Yeah, and who the company yeah, is and the way that they support their customer base, whether you're a creator or a business owner, they are listening to you and you could literally make a suggestion on the app and you might see it there in 30, 60, 90 days. Yeah. That's how responsive the team is. In fact, uh, uh, Jason and I are headed out there. You know, We're about 30 minutes from them. We're going to head out there next week and do some videos with Phil. So here's what I love about TubeBuddy is the navigation tool this sounds so simple but the navigation tool that they give you when you download and install TubeBuddy it integrates directly into your YouTube channel and now you'll have a TubeBuddy sort of icon at the top of your page so when you log into YouTube you can click the TubeBuddy icon and that gives you access, like direct access to real tools, like real tools. Whereas the YouTube navigation is going to sort of take you to like how to watch this and how to look at that and how to upload this. 
Uh, the TubeBuddy navigation puts you into real tools that, like you mentioned, the A-B split testing, custom thumbnail creators. Uh, you can add cards. You know what I, I see a lot? You can change links. If you have videos, right, that have an old website link, you can do a find and replace with the TubeBuddy tool. You can also add your, your links. If you want to add a link or add a, a, a video card, right, which is a, an overlaid link on the video window. You can do that with one or two clicks on TubeBuddy. You just say, put this link on everything, you know what I mean? And it's really, really easy to go back and edit videos. I love the template maker and whatnot. So we put a link to TubeBuddy and in. You, you have an active channel. If you have an active channel as well, being able to, you know, have the canned responses um, as well, well, that oh, can really be a time saver uh, also. Huge. Canned responses are so massive. And you know what? The TubeBuddy... Uh, extension on your desktop when you go through your comments you can actually find your uh, followers on Instagram They'll, there's a link directly to their Instagram account you can go to their Instagram account you can like three of their photos and get them to, to, to follow your page so it's a great way to grow on Instagram as well which is certainly uh, a, a tool that I think you guys should be um, uh, watching for as well as this next tool that I want to promote for you okay this tool is really is going out to my business owner peeps but even those of you that are creators and you want to sell courses uh, and you want to sell products that you sell you absolutely have to get without a shadow of a doubt clickfunnels.com you have to get clickfunnels.com and what clickfunnels is it's a website development system. Now, you might think, oh, well, I already have a WordPress or I... I already have a, um, I already have, a, you know, some other, a, a Webly, Weebly site. ClickFunnels is designed specifically to create landing pages from your videos or from your ads so that the customer can easily and naturally uh, become a customer or become a lead. So Melissa, go go to uh, your website, go to youtubetoolkit.com. So as a case in point, guys, let me, let me show you the pages that I develop with uh, with ClickFunnels. So this is a landing page for our business, like the, the template for a perfect business video. And this is a simple landing page where we can capture a name and an email. It's like, it should be youtubetoolkit.com. Melissa's gonna go there right now. While she's doing that, I'm gonna cut back to... Um, Let's see if I can cut. Oh, I can't do it. No, I get it. All right, cool. Now I'm messing up. I'm pressing all these buttons and I'm messing things up on the back end. What click, can you just put it back on me? What ClickFunnels does is it allows you to create landing page templates very, very easy. So the page that you're about to see in a second right here, this is where we generate a ton of leads. Customers, they see our videos and then they get to this page where they can put in their name and their email and it integrates with my marketing system. So when I, I get like a little text that says, oh, you know, you got a new lead. Oh, you got a new lead. Oh, you set a new appointment. I think Jason Jackson can attest for you. We'll be sitting at the office doing work together and all of a sudden it's like, boom, new appointment was set. Boom, new appointment was set. This is ideal. So show us that page. This is ideal for building pages that are like this, guys. It's so simple. You're thinking, oh, I could build that in WordPress. No, you absolutely cannot build a mobile responsive page that looks like this in WordPress and have it convert as quickly as I can build this. This took me about 40 seconds to make in ClickFunnels. You know, maybe, maybe a little bit longer. Go to, uh, Melissa, go to winwithowen.com in the same, in the same web address. So we launched a contest for the company and we needed to have a landing page up. Check out what my wife developed in about what, 20 minutes? We developed a page like this in 20 minutes and we were able to quickly create a landing page where our customers could enter the contest and it's so simple. Now, uh, ClickFunnels is something like $97 a month, but look, if you are running campaigns on the web and you can make like 20 funnels, you can have up to 100 pages. If you don't have an email marketing system, you can integrate email marketing from there uh, for free. You can integrate text marketing for free for a certain amount of credits of course you know they give like they did they have this this text integration with twilio and so you for up you can get like up to 20 free texts a month or whatever but imagine getting your subscriber base connected on a text message now 
Uh, this is great for doing bumps and upsells, right? If you want to sell a $7 product and then when they buy that, offer them your, your $97 product, right? ClickFunnels is the best template for that. So I go off on that because I, I hear all the time from people, look, it's too expensive, it's this, it's that, it's the other thing. This is why so many creators, so many uh, video makers are not making money is because their, their campaigns are not attached to systems like this. This is what Daryl Eves uses. This is what uh, some of the biggest names in the business are using. They are using ClickFunnels. In fact, VidSummit1 was Daryl and David Walsh and Jake Larson talking about the importance of video connected to, uh, to ClickFunnels. So guys, I'll put a link in the description box. Go get your two-week free trial at least. Go get your two-week free trial. And then if you do that, here's what I want you to do. Reach out to me. Get your two-week free trial and I will show you how to set up a, a simple basic funnel right now today so that you're not wasting any time on a free trial, right? So that right away today- That's value right there, Owen. Yeah. That's nice. I think so? That's good, man. Yeah. Yeah, it's, man, that's good. You ever Just because I know your time. You know what I mean? The fact that, uh, the fact that, you're, that you will do that is, uh, speaks volumes in terms of your support of the product. I, and I, I support the business owner too. I really support you guys out there. I know what it's like to get a free trial of something and you're like, well, I'm never going to learn this software in, in 30 days or less. You know what I mean? So really, it's like you have to jump in to the thing. So I want to see you guys jumping in because this, this one thing right here took me to a six-figure business in like three months. Mm. Five figure to a six nice. figure business in my first year of actually doing business. So, and this is great for creators if you're going to sell courses. So, I just believe in it. I uh, I, I strongly believe uh, in the ClickFunnels in the ClickFunnels product. And since we were talking about books earlier, um, Expert Secrets, um, written by the guy that owns ClickFunnels, um, is a fantastic book to uh, listen to as well. If you're doing any type of training or coaching or anything like that, the book Expert Secrets is also a fantastic book that you should download on Audible uh, or right. iBooks, whatever it is. Russell you, Brunson. Whatever it is, whatever your audio thing of choices. Russell Brunson is one of those guys. He's one of the guys that you, like I think for me, is one of the game-changing speakers, right? This guy taught me how to do a webinar. This guy taught me how to do, and he did the same thing. He said, buy my funnel system, buy ClickFunnels, and I'll give you a funnel. Uh, and I, we got that funnel, and, and we started converting clients like right away. So uh, really love the company, right? Uh, I really love the company. He's a family man. You know that I'm into that kind of thing. Um, yeah. So I love, I love, uh, I love hearing from that. Hey, are you guys using ClickFunnels already? Let me know in the comment section or tell me this. What are you using to build landing pages, right? This is key. Nick, you have, uh, you, you have a, a company website. You have a business that you're trying to, to build, that you are building, uh, and you have a landing page system, correct? It's not ClickFunnels, but it's something else. Yeah. Yeah, mine, um, I did mine uh, inside of WordPress. But I'm very proficient in WordPress. So yeah. for me, that was a pretty easy thing to do. Um, now, if I wasn't proficient in WordPress, then I would definitely go with something where I just click and you know, click some buttons here and there, and then it all comes together. Because that's the that's the thing. Like Did we lose Nick's audio? Hello. Inside of things where you have to do it all yourself, the um the downside of that is is that struggle so to speak of being like great now i'm trying to get this particular block of text to, to be in this specific position with this that and the other things so everything's above the fold and whatnot and and it can be a headache to where you're just wasting tons and tons and tons of time that you could be spending on actually developing something yeah. instead of sitting there trying to troubleshoot stuff oh like time is too valuable to sit there and try to troubleshoot stuff all day yeah launchpad astronomy pff, good to see you 30 day reviews is saying hey what's up man uh, I can see where it would be handy for people who have a business, but ouch, 97 a month, dang. Yeah, you know, ClickFunnels, look, if you have a goal, uh, you, you know I'm a big advocate for list building, right? So a huge advocate for list building. So even as a YouTube creator, 30 Days Review, having a landing page set up to capture leads at all is extremely valuable. One of the first lists I ever joined was Amy Landino's list. And, and it was like, you know, uh, don't miss a beat, join Amy's elite, you know, sign up to the newsletter now. And you got a free Twitter guide from a YouTuber, uh, you know, uh, uh, and I, I signed up to it because I wanted the thing. 
But I remember thinking like, wow, this is really like, it was so simple. It wasn't like this amazing, get my advanced course pre, it was just like, hey, do you want to stay in touch with me? And that's what you should be doing 30 day reviews. You should have a system set up. Maybe it's not ClickFunnels right now for you. Uh, for the business owner that's saying $97 is too much, how dare you? How dare you, sir? Look, here's the deal with, with a, a $97 product to sell a $97 consultation most of your consultations are more than that anyway but for those of you that have a $97 product or a $97 consultation you sell one a month you sell 12 a year to make it valuable uh, and you say well I'll just make those sales in person right well think about all the time it's gonna take you to go meet the amount of people that you need to actually increase your sales by that much, right? Because I'm not talking about excellent sound effect, Melissa. I'm not talking about, good. you know, like, oh, I, my business will sustain. I'm talking about invest 97 a month for a year uh, and use the system and watch your sales grow, right? Watch your sales grow. Anything you invest money in um, should be, I think, um, making money for you. Now, I'm trying to put the link uh, into... Um, uh, into uh, the uh, the comment section, but it's not. It's just not uh, loving me today on that. So we'll move on. And, we'll and move while on you're on that, one. Owen, yeah, yeah. While you're on that, Owen, um, the next one on the list that I would like to mention is um, is a content scheduler. So if you are a video creator for your company, or if you are a video creator just for the sake of you know creating videos for YouTube, you're trying to do something there, or LinkedIn, or anywhere where you're right. creating content, or you're doing anything, even blog posts, um, Monday.com is fantastic uh, monday.com it basically allows you to and this is a paid thing um but it allows you to where um you can go in and you can actually customize all of the steps so for example um with the guard um, who's editing my videos uh what we do is we have a system to where basically like when i when i have a video that needs to be recorded. I have all my topics in there. And then I have a video that needs to be recorded. I have that color coded and it says needs to be recorded. Yeah, and then cool. as soon as I record it, I change the color on it um, and the text on it. It's all just one button and it says recorded. And then when I upload them to Dropbox, then um, then I say files uploaded to Dropbox. Then he goes in and changes it with a confirmation that, that, they're, that they're uploaded. And it takes us through the entire process of of making the videos, uploading them, publishing them on YouTube and so yeah. on. So yeah. monday.com has been, for me personally, um, it has been awesome in terms of just getting that overview and being able to see at a glance where everything's at by the colors um, and by the little labels that are on it. Just seeing where everything is at a glance um, when I when I log into the system is, is, is incredible. What does that yeah. cost? Monday.com. Um, I can't remember. I signed up for it here, but I'm not sure what the actual fee Give is. It's not bad. Is it, is it $9 a month? Is it $97 a month? I think it might be like 20. Oh, hold on okay. real quick. All I'll, right. I'll tell so you it's exactly. affordable. It's a for how many yeah, of you guys absolutely. how many of you guys and struggle with content organization like your content calendar workflow? I'll tell you guys right now, 25. thumbnails. What's 25 that? Owen. 25 a month? Yes. Okay. 25 if you use it yourself. If you have somebody else that that uses it with you like in in my case with me and Vigard, um then in that case it's it's 40 a month. Okay. But some people might look at that and because you know if they're looking at at click funnels to where that's something that's going to potentially drive them into money. And they're looking at that saying, oh, that's a little bit expensive at 97. Yeah. Then they're probably really thinking this is expensive at 40. But here's something that I that I just want to remind you of. Keeping things organized and keeping things together as everything expands, as your, as your business grows, having that organization literally can be the difference in you going off the rails or not. Uh, I and, agree. and that's because you can... Yeah, because it's like, you know, once things get to a certain point, like when you're first starting out, everything's easy because you don't have a lot to do. I mean, you do have a lot to do, but 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 it's not all coming at you at right. once. But like as you progress through, you know, through the process of growing your your business or your your YouTube channel or your website or whatever it happens to be, you know, things start coming at you at a pretty fast rate. And if you don't get everything in line as all that starts to happen, then you can go off the rails pretty quick and you can drop a lot of plates, so to speak. Uh, I agree entirely. And I love the visual alert system of monday.com. In fact, we've sort of hacked our G our, our Google calendar to sort of function mm. like this. And it's, it's literally like a, a very crippled substitute. Monday.com looks fantastic. Mm. And it's interesting because I've been watching them advertise 
on my on my channel, uh, you know, uh, in front of my the videos that I watch, and I, I have kind of disregarded mm. it. But actually, seeing how you use it, this looks fantastic, and we may we may have to. How many of you guys are using a content scheduler right now? Let me know in the comment section because you know f managing your content in a in a weekly workflow type environment is a very challenging thing to do. But here's the thing, right? 10x rule, Grant Cardone. This is what's going to make you stand out: is that total marketplace dominance, right? That that ability to completely saturate the market because you're on an organized Henry Ford like assembly line, right? Mondays at this time, I make the videos, right? Uh, uh, Wednesdays at this time, I edit the videos or send them to the editor. Fridays at this time, they're uploaded and thumbnails are approved and I, I look at them and do all that kind of stuff. Uh, having that sort of system happen in your business will, and, and this is if you're a creator as well, it will change your business. It will change your business yeah. because now it's like it's it's compound interest, right? It's like two videos a week at a, at a small level, two two four minute videos a week, right? Oh, at the end of the month, that's eight videos. At the end of two months, that's sixteen videos. Imagine if each of those are in a slightly different topic in your same product category, right? So if you're a, a if you're a, a an appliance salesman or, or or you're a carpet cleaner, you're selling carpet cleaning tricks or, or tricks or talking about carpet cleaning in in a broad broad fashion and just dominating your marketplace. So having the organization leads to the dominance which leads to more more traffic and more conversion. And with that as well, another thing with it is like if you if you have everything organized and you know what's coming up, another place this can be really beneficial and, and I'm going to use your carpet cleaning reference Owen yeah. is let's say that you're making a bunch of carpet cleaning videos. Well, you'll know, okay, um here over the next 30 days, these are all the videos that I have to make. So while I'm shooting this particular thing and I'm shooting B-roll for this particular thing, yeah. since I know three weeks from now, I'm also going to need B-roll for this as well because I'm going to mention it in another video, then I'm going to go ahead and shoot something for it while I have this thing out, while I yeah. have this mop in this bucket yeah. or whatever it is oh you happen gosh. to be you know, talking about. So it helps you kind of pre-shoot content that you know you're going to need, which is also going to save you time in the future. So it helps you batch create everything it is that you're doing, which is which is incredible in it, yeah it's super super valuable it's gonna make the difference between uh um you know being remembered right versus dominating the marketplace right like are people even gonna remember you next year at one video trickling out a week you know what i mean or right. is getting on a better organization schedule is that gonna really get you the result because again you know you guys here here's the thing we all do we underestimate the amount of work it's going to take to get us where we want to go you know how i thought yes. i thought getting to fifty thousand subs would be so easy at this point because we're closing in at like a thousand a month without even doing much uh and and you know it's not it, it becomes a snail's page and you're thinking oh 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 and you know from forty thousand to fifty thousand like wouldn't that be nice you know, I'll tell you guys, it's a different skill set, right? It's a different skill set getting to your first thousand um, versus, you know, the second thousand, you know, to the next 10,000 and 15,000. And you're going to find these these little slopes and valleys. You guys are going to find that you got certain videos that are driving you a ton of traffic and a ton of leads. And you have other videos that yeah. are are just um, straight up dead, straight up dead. They, they yeah. do nothing for yeah. you, um, you know. So think about that as you're uh, as you're moving forward. Um and um uh and uh and keep that keep that in mind my 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 thing keeps blowing up here so let's talk about this you you've made you've made some videos now right you've got this great content calendar how are you going to uh uh how are you going to get them out to the people well that's where we recommend uh, a company called agorapulse.com agorapulse uh for social media management now Agora Pulse is like a content distribution system. It is a phenomenal system for managing your social media. So, um, you, you know, here's the thing is you've got these videos. How are you going to get them out? How are you going to get your thumbnail on Facebook, in your Facebook groups, posted on Instagram, out to LinkedIn, and all the different places that you have to go? Well, Agora Pulse provides an easy to use, beautiful software uh, that that uh, anybody anybody can use. So what happens is once you've got a video done, 
uh, you can upload your thumbnail one time to Agora Pulse, pick three different platforms you want it to share to, write your posting copy and schedule it. You can even with one button, and this is what we do, is you can schedule it to go out multiple times throughout the year in one click, in one click, right? So you could say, all right, share this video. And this is what we do because we make a lot of evergreen stuff. So it's like, share this video um, every five days, right? Uh, and so it goes on this kind of rotating calendar at at 3.30 p.m. You can even go back and then you schedule. You can even go back and then change individual dates, right? To uh, oh, well, Or individual times. Say, well, okay, how about uh, on the third one, we'll, we'll send it out at 7.30 and we'll test our, our reaction there. Uh, now, something else I love, I love, love about Agora Pulse, okay, is I love how you can create these profiles on Agora Pulse. So you can create profiles like, Let's just say your Twitter account, your Twitter profile. Uh, that's a bad. That's a bad word. Let's just say your 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 Twitter your Twitter bucket, and you set it up so that at like seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, one, once every hour, a new tweet's going out. Well, all throughout the day, from your mobile device or from your desktop, or you could sit down at, in one session and just load up your buckets. You can put content just in the bucket. And then Twitter will automatically post it at 7, post it at 8, post it at 9. If your bucket's empty, it won't post anything. But you can go back in there, spend 20 minutes, load it up with new blog posts and new tweets and things like that. Uh, and um, uh, and um, um, uh, uh, it'll, uh, it'll be uh, – it's a phenomenal tool for getting your name out there and saving – a whole lot of time now you guys can start a free trial and i believe that some of the free stuff you can do will even i believe some of it carries over i'm not sure like i i believe that there's a limited free version that you can use uh you can also add people once you have an account you can add people to that account uh so someone else yeah i was just getting manage. ready to mention that so yeah i was getting ready to mention that part right there and and that can be extremely valuable too so like if you have somebody that um, let's say that you haven't moved your YouTube channel to a brand account yet, but you want to have somebody come in and help you with comments, for example, then you can use Agora Pulse and you can give them access and then they can come in and then they can, you know, help you with comments. If a comment comes in and it's something that you need to answer, they can assign it to you, which is awesome. Yeah. Um, same thing for like Twitter um, or anywhere else to where if somebody is in there and they're helping you manage your social media, then if there's something that is specific that you need to, to know about. It's an opportunity or somebody um, that you're you know trying to get on, uh, in, in, in touch with uh, has reached out to you on Twitter or whatever, then they can assign that specific message to you. Yeah. Um, so that oh, when I you log that. in, you're just seeing the most, yeah, when, when you log in, you're just seeing the stuff that is relevant to you um, and the most important stuff instead of, you know, all of the additional, you know, noise, so to speak, that might come in from social media. Yeah, great stuff here, guys. I'm hearing from 30 Day Reviews. By the way, 30 Day Reviews, great to have you and love to see you uh, engaging so much in the yeah. comment section. Uh, glad you're here. He's saying, I use Buffer. It's free and it works great. Buffer's a great company uh, founded by Jay yeah. Bear and, and uh, some of his uh, partners. And they're, they're a great organization. They know social media, integrates everywhere. In fact, I would say Buffer is more like the standard. Um, uh, pro like everyone sort of uses it. And they do have this free version. Now, the thing, just like he says later, uh, he says um, uh, Agora Pulse is definitely better uh, in the fact that you can, with, with Buffer, I have to post three manually. Yeah, the Buffer does offer restrictions, and you do have to do a lot of manual work to keep up on the free version of Buffer. But, you know, here's what I say, guys, is that you've got to treat your, 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 your business like a business. You know, there is a time for free tools, but there's also a time to really, like, dig into a tool. So if you're going to go into, you know, a three-month or a 90-day series of, of you're going to really crank out videos, then I would recommend grabbing some of these software for 90 days, right? Why why sign up for the whole year? There's nothing that says you have to do that. You can use it when you need it. Uh, you know, that's actually why what I like so much about Live View, and hopefully we could we can cover that. I don't know if we're gonna have time today, but the, the whole idea is while you're like in this season, and right now, you guys should be dominating the market with videos. Half half of America is going to sleep right now. 
I kid you not. There are, people are working two-hour days. They're working four-hour days. They're going home because they got grandmas in town. They got turkey in the fridge, and they got Christmas coming up. And, you know, like our family, we got Big Bear coming up in two weeks, a little early this year. But people are starting to snooze. So you should be dominating the marketplace right now with lots of videos. And sometimes, you know, in those seasons, you should grab an Agora Pulse software so that you're sharing all those videos massively and not just relying on the YouTube algorithm to bring traffic to your channel. The YouTube algorithm actually rewards when you bring your own people to the party. So you've got to be in this, in this method of posting on YouTube and seeing what your organic traffic is going to be like, and then driving people to that video from Twitter, from LinkedIn, from Facebook, from your Facebook groups, uh, from your email, from text messaging your buddies. Uh, you know, text message your buddies. Hey, I did a good video this week. You know, everything to uh, to bring people to your multi-platform leadership. That's that's the key in 2019. I think my buddy Andrew Edwards would attest to that. Amen. Hey, pff, amen. I would agree. I like it. I like it. I think Nick, we got time for one more. Uh, let's go into uh, roll call. Final final tool for the day. Uh, take it away, Nick. I think that just in general, that people should embrace cloud services for non-essential, non, non-sensitive non uh, files. Right. And that's because like with cloud services, one, the file storage, you know, up there, and you've also got, um, uh, you've also got it to where you can easily go between devices. It doesn't matter if you have like an iPhone and then you have a tablet that's an Android or like whatever, you can just sync everything up by using by using cloud services personally like i use google for most things i use dropbox i'll use um, google drive which is google um but but using those services really helps um you know keep everything in one place and helps keep things organized for example um for the videos that i make for you screen um i actually put all of my scripts and everything for them up uh, up in the cloud and that makes it easy for me to share it with them. They can yeah. go in and, and make any like edits they need to. And then I've got them like right there and then I can just pull them up on my, on my phone when it's ready to, uh, to record the videos. Yeah. So, so, so it just makes the whole process easy. So cloud storage is what you're saying is like really yeah. move into a place of virtually storing and having, I think a, a memory management system in your business, uh, or, you know, in yeah. your, in your production schedule, absolutely huge. We use Google drive for documents that's what we use now i have word and i have excel and i found that being being in business you sort of like have to have the microsoft package which i i think sucks but you have to have it right um we use google for the google docs google sheets and, and google spreadsheets and all and all that kind of stuff uh but we use dropbox for all of our digital media right imagery and and uh uh, videos because G Dropbox organizes the digital media in a better way, right? So whereas whereas with Google Drive, you're sort of like, it's just a wonky process. Like when you download everything, you have to wait for every like file to download and then a zip file downloads uh, and it takes more time. Plus you've got like this new Google Stream now, which just overloaded my computer with memory because it basically duplicated my entire Google Drive. So I, you know, for me, like mm. I try to use the Google interface uh, little to none because of the process of even sharing files, right? Sharing a video file with the Google Drop links is like, is, is it either sucks on mobile or it's like it's a desktop institution, right? Whereas Dropbox, it's easy. Dro like I put my stuff in Dropbox on one computer and then I'm going to the gym uh, while I'm in the sauna, I'm I'm downloading that image from my phone. I'm posting it on Instagram and the text. I'm able to get so much more done so much quicker. Uh, so having that memory management uh, uh, system, I think, is huge because we ran we ran out of memory this morning, uh, and it took us longer to get this to get the show up today. You know, so I think having that system uh, that system is huge. Nick, what any big tips on on cloud service, which to use or how to use it? Yeah, I'm, I, I use Google Drive and use Dropbox. I find um, huge advantages in both. Of course, you don't want to use it if, you know, for any like sensitive things, um, but for, you know, transferring files back and forth and, you know, little things like that, you know, like scripts and things like that, that like anybody could see as a worst case scenario if it got, you know, if somebody got access to it or something. Yeah. Um, uh, but just, you know, don't, don't put anything, use your head. 
use common sense and don't put yeah. anything sensitive up there. And experiment with stuff. You know what I mean? Like, here's my big challenge for all of you guys listening today is you start to integrate new tools, new apps, and new softwares into your company uh, and into your lifestyle. Make sure that you're, you're walking on a program where you're not fighting your own momentum, right? I see, and this is something that we've got really good at. So here's a good example. My wife and I, we decided that we need weekly meetings. We need to have a weekly Monday touch base meeting of some kind, right? Uh, to get on the same page for the week. Well, you know, what we did was we started saying, okay, well on Mondays in between the kids coming home, right? We'll go grab the kids and we'll go to this park that we take the kids and we'll do our meetings there. And we thought this would be a great entrepreneurial like, like use of our time, right? Well, what we found is that we lost so much time, right? Picking the kids up, bringing them to the park, keeping them snack fed, uh, and then we're like, we're, we're just like, we feel like we wasted so much time. So we're trying to pound through a meeting. We got through nothing. Meanwhile, we've got like drinks spilling and we got kids yelling in our ear. Wasn't working, right? We, were, we saw this block of time and we tried to make it work, but it didn't work. So here's my challenge to you guys. As you're implementing new tools and new, and new uh, softwares and new apps, if you're finding, you know, friction, give a tool four weeks, right? And commit to, I'm going to use this tool Right, this is where I went south with Morning Fame, and I love Morning Fame. I just, when I signed up, I didn't build time in to use it and to make it part. So now I'm trying to do that in the midst of everything else I'm doing. Right, find these times where using the software works uh, and, and, or using the app works for you. And if over time it doesn't work, get rid of it. What I, th or move it to a different time. I think what you're gonna find is, uh, you're being more productive with your time. You're being more efficient with your time and you're leaving, you're putting all that brain space away, that brain space that goes, should I use this? Will this help me? You will have used it. You will have discovered the answer to that. And you will be able to either move, use it moving forward or scratch it off your list and never have to worry about it again. So think about those and on things. that note also. Yeah, and on that note also, you know, like if you are, you know, if things are starting to go in the right direction for you, it's also good practice to, you know, to figure out, you know, hey, what tools am I going to need and start like getting used to those tools now so that you're not running around with like a chicken with their head cut off, so to speak, yeah. when you are, you know, like when things are jamming so yeah. that you can get all that stuff in place so you can get your systems together now um, so that you're not left holding the ball later down pipelines, the road. Pipelines, 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 guys. Build your plumbing. Build your plumbing, right? You've got to be in a place where if your channel blows up, would it crush you, crumble you, you know, or do you have, you know, do you have a process for those people to go through? I hear so many creators and video creators saying, well, once I get momentum, I'll build a free offer or I'll build a thing. You know, what What I think made made my career and helped That's me That's a waste. Get, That's yeah. a waste. It and is. They do that. Like, like basically, if you're if you're uploading content to to any platform, and you are and you don't have like monetization built into that, you don't know, like you don't know if hey, for whatever reason, this particular video ends up getting picked up, and yeah. this particular video ends up bringing you a ton of views. But you said, you know what? I'm actually not going to do an email list for like another like three months, and that video wasn't on that list. So therefore, you have this video that's out there bringing you tons of traffic that could be working for you on yeah. your behalf yeah. to drive leads or sales or whatever it happens to be. And because you slept on it, so to speak, you have that video out there that's pretty much just it's bringing in views, subscribers, that kind of stuff, or it's bringing in that recognition, but it's not actually adding to your bottom line. So right. getting that stuff in place and monetizing your content now regardless of where you are in the process is extremely important because you never know which videos are going to, are going to do well for you. And it doesn't make sense to build an entire library yeah. of videos that, that aren't doing anything for oh, you. Oh yeah. And that's when you you're going to so quit. That's when you're going to quit. You're going to find, you're going to find yourself with uh, 50,000 subs and no money. Um, and right. uh, a wife, a partner, so, some a mom telling you, look, you can't do this anymore. Right, you've got to right. be capturing that stuff right when it comes in. So think about ways that you can do that. Follow my channel, Owen Video. We're gonna be talking a lot about funnels, capturing leads, and if you wanna take your business to the next level, generating leads, generating sales on a more consistent basis, on an automated basis to where you're asleep, but people are watching your videos in their email on Facebook, follow this channel, check out what we're doing. We've got some great courses coming out very, very soon. Thanks for tuning in today. It's Owen and Nick signing out with Owen Video Live. We'll see you guys next week.